Oh, and MegaFest returns to Dallas today. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers found out what people can expect over the next several days. Brittany. Well, Karen, over the next four days, there will be a lot to choose from. There's going to be different pastors speaking as well as entertainers. There will be a film festival going on. And this year, something new will be an entrepreneurial workshop. Now, we did speak with organizers, and they tell us that after a brief hiatus in 2016, they are glad to be back here in Dallas. I love this city. I absolutely love this city. I think it is a very cosmopolitan uh, city that has a lot of diverse people groups here. Uh, it's a big city with a country feel. Uh, we are hospitable people, uh, loving people. I'll be running. I sat down and spoke with the organizer of MegaFest, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and he says they have been working hand in hand with the Dallas Police Department, the mayor, airports, and various hotels to try to coordinate everything. He says his goal with this event is to offer people positive experiences and topics that impact them spiritually, physically, even economically. More than 100,000 people from all across the world will be in DFW for the event, and the bishop says that locally it's a means of unity. I think it is very needed in, in, in the city, uh, considering what we went through just a year ago with the police department and the killing of five police officers. It's needed in the country. I think so much emphasis is placed on what we disagree about. To bring people together and focus on what we do agree about is healing and to remind us that we are all in this world together and we fight the same battles. So things are going to start kicking off here in about three hours. We can tell you that registration is going to take place here. And then at 10 o'clock over at Clyde Warren Park, there will be a welcome ceremony. Reporting live here in Dallas this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.